Hey guys, this is Christian Salamino here, and I'm here to talk to you about xenobio cybergenetic cloning of prehistoric reptiles. Now, we all know of scientists trying to clone dinosaurs and also trying to actually make birds into dinosaurs, but that's probably not going to be possible. But I think there will be a new way to actually be able to probably do it. The type of technique I actually think is biocyber xenogenetic cloning of prehistoric reptiles that once roamed the earth over 65,000 years ago. So if we actually use a bioprinter and actually use a new type of bioprinting CAD to actually do it, then it's quite possible that we could actually do it without any kind of restraints or do it without any type of trial and errors. But it's going to take time and also it's going to take a lot of work to actually to put the pieces together to program the CAD's ability to make that type of clone. But in recent years, scientists have been trying to actually study new ways of, of making dinosaurs that probably haven't existed. But we are actually looking for new ways to actually always new ways to actually figure out the DNA strand and the cells that are actually being able to use so that we so that we can actually make dinosaurs that never existed or clone dinosaurs that have existed. Now what xenobio cyber genetic cloning of dinosaurs is, it's a technique that you do to design the animal's skeleton by taking um, either a image from a prehistoric dinosaur and using the BioCAD to somehow make the bones or make the muscles or anything else like that from bone, flesh, and skin, blood, and also internal organs and intestines and everything. So what you can probably do is design it so that you can actually be able to actually make your own version of a cloned version of a prehistoric dinosaur. Dinosaurs we know have been extinct for 65,000 years uh, according to a new stage in my statement of evolution. Uh, it's quite now going to be possible that if you download an app called Swift, Swift is a app making kind of app that you can um, use to code apps with and also um, the type of apps that you want whatever it is you want you can type in your own codes and um, you can type in whatever it is you like but for me in my case um, I'm going to use it to make a different type of BioCAD that can actually be used with data to transfer the information to um, a bioprinter so that you can actually make whatever kind of creature it is you want, either futuristic or 
from the past. However, it's quite commonly clear now, to my knowledge, that it's going to be a, a pretty practical approach. And, um, like Jack Horner says, by turning a bird into a dinosaur, it's probably not going to be possible to do, since evolution restrained a bird's tail from a dinosaur to making it short. And made a dinosaur's arms and hands and wings so that they can have the ability of flight. But it's going to take some more time for the research to do. But uh, we do not actually have this kind of CAD yet, but with a new BioCAD, you can actually print out the embryonic stage and program it in the same way that scientists actually programmed xenobots. Now, xenobots are living robots. They actually are a type of robot that is living and has stem cells and heart cells of a frog from Africa. But they're programmed in a way that is different from all other robots. But if you actually program your xenobiocybergenetically created dinosaur in a similar way, you got to program everything. You got to program the the growth spurt, the sexual maturity that it reaches, and also the type of, um, say, the age of it reproducing and teaching the youngster how to learn and survive in the wild as all other organisms in the wild do today. But with prehistoric animals, you got to take guesses because we don't have the behavior of dinosaurs that fossilize over time because behavior rots away. It's not going to be fossilized like modern bone or prehistoric bone. So the type of situation is that if we learn more and program these Xenobiocybergenetically created animals right from male to female, we can probably get something that resembles a prehistoric dinosaur or a futuristic dinosaur or anything like that. Now, we all know that Jurassic Park might be science fiction, but it could become reality now. Now that I think about it, we don't have to clone dinosaurs, but we do need to make them look like Xenocyber genetically created animals so that they can eat, sleep, drink water, and also learn how to survive in the wild, as all organisms do in the wild today. A dinosaur in the wild is going to actually do very well, either with scales or feathers, whatever the situation of its um, skin type situation is. Um, in the tropics of the Gulf Coast or the equator, Dinosaurs will probably have scaly skin. Or in the Arctic, they'll probably have to have feathers. Or subarctic and subtropical areas, they will likely have to have um, um, a combination of both, feathers and scales. But I do have a solution that we could probably use. And that is 
the blubber of penguins that we can bioprint out with the the um, skin of a dinosaur's closest living relative and a dinosaur's non-close living relative like a leopard seal or a uh, penguin for example so this could actually be the case of our problem of trying to bring dinosaurs back to life and that could be the answer xenocyber genetic excuse me um I got my tongue a little twisted, sorry. So, xenobiocybergenetically created animals are going to be the answer, probably. Dinosaurs, on the other hand, we will probably have to create. Because we can just ignore the Michael Crichton, Jeff Goldblum, Dash, Ian Malcolm warnings that we cannot tamper with nature we need to study nature more often to learn about the type of nature that the wild animal has and what its instincts are capable of but with the dinosaur you will have to take guesses in determining the programming of the xenobiocyber genetically created animals instincts like say for instance like birds monitor lizards crocodiles and some animals like that i know it seems a little crazy but it's probably going to be the only way we can do it actually get started with the process and it's also going to have to happen so if you guys like this video please hit that like button subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below this is christian salamio signing out